Over 400,000 people are ferried to Robben Island every year, a major draw card for the mother city's tourism industry. But the recent incident has caused doubt on the service, raising questions around safety and compliance of the boat ferrying visitors to the World Heritage Site. It was very interesting to see that under 25 tons, there's no legislation that says they don't, they must not, they do not have to go out in bad weather. That's hugely problematic. That is actually stating that there are no compli compliance issues uh, ar around bad weather, and that is putting tourists at risk. At least one expert believes the ferry should not have been operating in rough seas. Our experience is from running a ferry service which had to run five trips per ferry per day with a specific time, so you had to have a boat that could do a certain speed and carry a certain amount of people, and that was the requirement then. Um, so on that day, Tandy should not have been there as operating as a ferry coming back from the island. An investigation into the incident is still underway. You've had an incident, you must be able to respond accordingly. We are conducting that internal investigation and really if there are things that we pick up that we could have done to reassure the public, our stakeholders and the tourists at large will then be able to communicate if there are any new things that we will need to be addressing. The South African Maritime Safety Authority is also conducting its own investigation which is expected to be concluded next week. Carmel Lachmer-Roberts SABC News, Cape Town.